this past Saturday, uh, our staff attended the Quinn Martin Arnold Civic Club meeting. A uh, feature presenter was Pete Delasancho of the Neighborhood Protection, uh, Neighborhood Protective Chief Inspection, uh, Chief Inspector uh, that's assigned to our car community. So I want to thank the uh, Neighborhood Protection for, for uh, coming out and speaking to our neighborhoods. Uh, this past Monday, uh, uh, we also attended the Fort Bend Houston Super Neighborhood Council. Uh, the meeting was well attended, and uh, <coughs> the guest presenter was Derek Williams from the City Parking Management Division. Uh, tomorrow evening, the Bracewood Super Neighborhood Council will host their monthly council meeting at 6 p.m. at the Lakewood Park Community Center. All stakeholders and alternates are encouraged to attend. Uh, the Super Neighborhood Council will address working committees and their action plan for 2013. Uh, this Saturday, I will attend the Briargate Community Improvement Association annual meeting. Uh, I encourage all Briargate residents to attend. Uh, the meeting is scheduled for 11 a.m. at the Briargate Clubhouse. Uh, also this Saturday, uh, at 9.30 a.m. Uh, at the HPD South Gessner substation, uh, the Brazos community is asked to come out for a stakeholder meeting to discuss uh, the Women's Center, uh, uh, which will be um, uh, advanced by the Schiffer House and the Schiffer Foundation. So uh, if you'd like to have some input uh, into that, uh, get some more information about the proposed Women's Center, please come out for that. Uh, uh, Mayor, prior to the holidays, I publicly inquired about the installation of streetlights along Ivy Street and Fort Bend. Uh, last week, I was told by uh, the administration that uh, those lights would be uh, forthcoming. So I personally want to thank you and I appreciate your efforts in, 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 in working with our office and working with us to make sure that that happens. So thank you so much. And so with that, Mayor, I need to talk to you about the project at number one. Uh, on, um, on behalf of the Alameda Plaza Civic Club, uh, my office has requested information regarding the status of a project that started under Mayor Bob Lanier's Neighborhoods to Standards Program. According to documents provided by the Civic Club, monies were identified to asphalt and reconstruct many of the streets in the neighborhood. Uh, they state that the streets were identified by asphalt overlay that have, that have, have been completed but there are two streets identified qualifying for reconstruction, Monticello Drive and Mandalay Street, that have not completed the work or ever started. Additionally, along with the reconstruction of Mandalay and Monticello, a two-way entrance island on Monticello was supposed to be completed uh, 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 back in 1993. And how do we know that? We know that because there still is a sign that's, that's still uh, posted that says uh, project number 9307 that is still posted there uh, today uh, since 1993. So we're requesting uh, that Mandalay Street Monticello Drive be completed and that the project sign be removed uh, to the entrance uh, uh, of the neighborhood uh, in as much as it's been there 20 years. Thank you. 